Okay, guys, we're going to head south again to Sunset Cafe. This would have been Chicago sort of equivalent to um, um, the Cotton Club in Harlem. Uh, except the building still stands that house the Sunset Cafe. This is also the location. If In an earlier vlog, I had mentioned Benny Goodman traveling from the west side uh, to the south side to play. Uh, music and this is one of those locations that he came to play very interesting spot um, many musicians played here and I also lived on this block as well in Calumet so uh, Calumet Avenue 3600 block so uh, I, I've seen this building many times so let's go it's raining today guys uh, it's raining today, so we're going to hop on the bus. The building was built in 1909. In 1921, it was converted to, a, to the uh, jazz club Sunset Cafe. The roster of musicians that would have played here would have been Louis Armstrong, very young. Uh, Cab Calloway, a very young Cab Calloway before going to New York. And Earl Hines. Dizzy Gillespie and Charlie were in Earl Hines' band. The old Sunset Cafe. And this was the stage. You know, it's a special thing to have the background still there after so many years. You're not really sure when it was painted, but we know that the club was closed in 1950, so it probably would have been in the 40s. Perhaps in the 30s it was painted. I don't know, 30s, 40s. Club started in 1921. You take a guess, looking at the artwork. But in either case, this stage, Earl Hines, who else would have been on stage here? Charlie Parker. Dizzy Gillespie. Charlie and Dizzy were playing in Earl Father Hines' uh, orchestra before they were out doing their own thing. Parker had made his way to Chicago from, uh, from Missouri. I believe he hopped a freight train. And then he went back to Missouri before going back to, uh, before heading to New York. So this was their uh, sort of uh, learning ground, in a way, before they got to the East Coast. Cab Calloway got his start here as well. Louis Armstrong wrote a song called Sunset Cafe Stomp. I've been looking for that song. Can't really find it, the original uh, uh, album. Louis Armstrong and his Hot Five. That would have been in 1926, Sunset Cafe Stomp, he recorded. And there's tell that Al Capone had, had influence here. Earl Hines is uh, doing an interview talking about Al Capone is telling the guys, hey, you hear nothing, see nothing, you speak nothing. You know, keep doing what you're doing. Just play. If the uh, police were ever snooping around. This was also, also a black and tan establishment, meaning that blacks and whites uh, congregated in this establishment. Uh, 
This was all in Bronzeville, so uh, I wonder where specifically some of the artists live when they're performing at these places. And when I lived on Calumet, my neighbor told me that uh, Duke Ellington's, uh, one of his violinists, lived in the house that's behind this building. This place is world known. There have been people coming over from Europe from time to time. I remember when there was a hardware store, the owner would tell me, and they would come to specifically to see this place because they had heard Louis Armstrong had played here. And one time there was a band even that uh, played here. The guy said, hey, can I bring my band members? And the rest of them, they came in and played. Most any and everyone has heard of Louis Armstrong. There's an upstairs to this too as well, so let's take a look. This used to be a little private club above the cafe. It used to be a private club. Get back downstairs overlooking the club. Seeing the stage in the distance. You can see the uh, roof supports there. Center view. And the uh, stage in the distance. Let's go back in time a little bit. And look at some old photos that I have. Here's an ad from the Sunset Cafe, probably from the 20s. See the stage in the distance. When it was a hardware, you could see the supports, ceiling supports better. photo with Louis Armstrong is here. Louis is the fourth holding the trumpet here. And a very young Earl Hines is here. This photo is from 1927 at the Sunset Cafe. Okay, that was Sunset Cafe. If you're ever in Chicago, and you're on the south side, 35th. Check out Bronzeville area, uh, Sunset Cafe. The address is listed in the beginning there of the video. Um, you know, I lived around the corner on Calumet. And um, I was told that um, the owner, the previous owner of my house, used to manage Sammy Davis Jr., I believe in the 60s. And also some other uh, interesting things I found in the house related to some uh, uh, known artists. Uh, it's an interesting neighborhood. And uh, thank you for watching. And watch out for the next one. <laughs>